Washington State. Um, Mount Rainier is behind me. If you can see it, today I was up there. Um, I've actually been sick the last few days. Today I woke up feeling great, so we went up Mount Rainier today. But what happened was we got to the top, we had to park, walk um, just over half a mile up a hill to where we were trying to go, which was like this old timey lodge, when we got there, I was a wreck. Like, oh my gosh, my lungs were burning. My nasal passages were burning. Like it wasn't good, right? And <clears throat> and you can hear now, like my voice is already starting to go because I'm trying to project. Um, but we get up there, it's me, Kevin and my mom and I end up needing to stay behind. I can't go for a hike. Like usually we go somewhere like that and I'm gonna hike, you know, we're gonna be planning a 10 plus mile hike, seeing the most beautiful things, um, prioritizing time in nature, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but when it was so apparent that hiking wasn't gonna happen for me and I was just gonna need to be sat all day, I got such an attitude. I I was really ill a few years ago and I think because of that like being sick since then like just getting a cold like I have I just have such an attitude about it like I don't want to miss a single day of my life like I don't want to miss a single hike it's kind of triggering honestly it brings up a lot for me um, to have to sit back and be left behind so I was pretty prepared <laughs> pretty miserable to say the least and so Kevin and my mom went up the trail and I sat down inside and went on my phone I actually went on Zillow and looked at houses we can't afford <laughs> looked at <coughs> um, TikTok and literally just stewed in it like stewed in my like I was angry and just generally pissed off um, stewing, stewing, stewing. I guess the thought that hit me was like, I need an attitude adjustment. This isn't right. So I was inside, right? Like in a beautiful alpine setting, I was pissed off inside a lodge. And so I stood myself up, went outside, um, and sat down. And I ended up sitting down in a spot that was close to a table with, um, uh, people sat from two different families were sat at that table and I sat looking at the mountains and I overheard the woman or one of the women telling the other couple about how her and her husband were there because they had just lost their son um, who had just died a couple months prior and he was only 29 and she told them the story of how they had adopted him how he died of cancer a few months ago and it was just like it was such a perspective moment of like this is so stupid like number one I've faced so much adversity in my life like this is such a stupid thing to be like stewing over and angry over like I personally have better perspective than this bull crap that I'm sitting in um and then number two it's just like there's so much more meaningful, important stuff going on in the world. Like I could be using this moment better. I could be sitting, like being still, looking at the mountains, but instead I'm not. I'm inside on my phone being envious. <laughs> Anyways, the whole thing was stupid. Like I was just being so dumb. And um, it was like the attitude shift wasn't immediate. It was over the next like hour or so. It was that moment plus a nap, I think. The nap was important. But all that to say, I think that even just like being away from, you know, in this uh, kind of funny in between moment that Kevin and I find ourselves in, we're not necessarily serving anybody right now other than ourselves. Like we're not serving 
in our usual spaces. And I feel like it's made me a much more selfish person. And it makes me want to find new ways, even if it's short-term ways, to like serve others. Because like that was that was ridiculous. Like my attitude today was ridiculous. And it just makes me think like majority of the time, majority of my life I am serving others. And right now, because of X, Y, and Z, I'm not, and I'm the worst person for it just after a few months. Like how much worse <laughs> could I become? <laughs> like, oh. So perspective is important and um, that woman who was talking about losing her son was like very obviously a believer and went on to talk about like trusting in God and just how thankful she was to have known her son and it was all very moving. Um, And she was telling her story to somebody else, and I was just, like, being a weirdo eavesdropping, but, like, it blessed me, too. So, shout out to her, wherever she is tonight. I'm sure she's deep in her grieving process right now, and I hope she continues telling her son's story, because I hope it blessed that other older couple who were up hiking, because it blessed me. And, yeah. I think that's all I have to say today. My voice is probably gonna give out soon. This is the most I've actually projected my voice in a few days. Um, but I'm going to continue to feel the gratitude for the fact that I get to travel so much instead of having a stinky attitude about like moments missed. Because like I am so privileged, I am so blessed. And I get to look at this mountain and um, be thankful and experience joy. So I'm gonna do that for the remainder of my time here. Or at least I'm gonna try. <laughs>